Hi everyone. Uh, as promised, just a quick walk around of my 1974 Honda CB350 electric conversion. I've um, been working on this project for about a year now. Had a bit of a break, um, just just got frustrated with programming the controller. These Sevcons can be a bit tricky. Um, massive thanks to Phil over at Voltsport for helping me iron out, iron out the final um, issues that I was having. Um, it's, it's running nicely now. Um, so yeah, huge thanks to those guys. If you're going to buy a Sevcon, go to them because the, the aftercare is just invaluable. Um, but yeah, back to the bike. So as I said, 1974 Honda CB350 frame. We have a GSXR R750 K, K6. I, I can't remember if it's K6 or K7 front end here. Um, gives us the double um, discs, twin discs up front. Um, and nice inverted forks just to handle that extra power of going electric. Um, the frame is all original aside from the loop at the back, uh, the tail loop, um, the motor, battery, etc. all uses original mounting points. Um, I made up the plate to enable me to do that. Um, if anyone needs to mount an ME1507 to a Honda CB350 frame, give me a shout, I can share those. Um, files with you to have one see and seed yourself. Um, rear brake is the original, surprisingly good um, for a 40, 50 year old bike. Um, rear shocks are from uh, just eBay cheapos. Um, I will probably be replacing the rear swing arm with a SL350 swing arm. Uh, it's about an inch and a half longer. Um, and then I will put uh, slightly longer shocks on the rear just to bring that front end a tiny bit uh, higher um, uh, but keep the handling and the geometry in check there. So onto the drivetrain. Um, so it's powered by an ME1507 motor. Um, as I mentioned, custom mounted to use the original engine mounts. It has the Sevcon Gen 4 size 6 controller. Um, and it, the battery pack is made from Sony VTC6 cells, uh, 66 amp hours, 72 volts nominal. Um, the box is made from 10 mil uh, heated acrylic, um, just heated and shaped into size. Uh, the tank is hollowed out. Um, so we, on this side of the bike, we have the charger. Uh, onboard charger. Again, just a 10 amp um, AliExpress special. You can just about see it in there. Um, and then in terms of charging, um, we use the original petrol filler cap. Just open that up. If I can get the key in. Just a standard kind of laptop, uh, three pin charger there. So you can charge it from any kind of home plug. The other side of the tank houses the contactor, the 12 volt system, um, and then some of the electronics for the OBD2, um, which is how I get all my information. Um, I had a look at many different displays um, and I settled on the OBD2 um, solution. So I'm just gonna use an old smartphone um, and permanently mount it. At the moment, I'm just using a very cheap uh, battery monitor type thing. Um, but yeah, I'll just kind of mount a mount a old smartphone there permanently to use that as my displays. Um, the rear sprocket is a 57 tooth um, custom made rear sprocket. Um, it's getting about 85 miles an hour top speed at the moment, um, but the acceleration is is well, brutal. Um, it's it's more than enough. Um, I think I'll probably drop down on the sprocket size on the rear, just to make it a little less um, terrifying and get a bit of a higher top end, but um, avoid the whiplash. I'm sure as I get used to it and I ride it more, um, I'll probably change it back and, and want that acceleration again. Um, the controller positioning at the moment, some of you may notice that it's, it's sticking out quite far. 
Ideally, this was going to go under the seat or in the tank, but it's just too big. Um, the positioning of it at the moment, it is legal. It is within the foot pegs, it is in with, within the foot brake. However, um, if I was to drop the bike, it, it would be one of the first things to, to hit the ground. So I do want to shift this over, get it more central. Um, but the way that the CB350 frame is, is the frame, the bottom rail on this side, is higher than the other side. So, although actually that's shifted slightly, so it will come over a bit more. But essentially I want to bring it out in line with the battery box a couple of inches, um, which then on the other side should have it sit about here, um, just sticking out past the battery box, which will make it much, much better. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the, the next job. Um, but yeah, th thanks very much for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed. Any other questions, anything I've missed, um, reach out. Cheers.